In this computer, I have Windows 11 and also I have Ubuntu 24 installed in dual boot. So I have both Windows 11 and also Ubuntu installed in dual boot running together in the same computer without impacting each other's. So are separately running from each other's. I'll show you how to do that, how to install Ubuntu alongside with your Windows 11 or Windows 10 or Windows 8, any Windows computer that you have and have both operating systems running with full power into the same Ubuntu into your computer alongside with Windows, what you need is to put Ubuntu file or ISO image inside a USB stick and then we are going to install it in a dual boot. So here I have the ISO file of Ubuntu or the disk image which we're going to need to put it inside the USB. And to download this file, you have to go to this website that which you can find in the description and you can download any version of Ubuntu but this is the version 24 that you can download. Just click on this big download button and the download will start immediately. It will take some time because it's 5.8 gigabytes. And something else that we need is this software Rufus that you can find a link on the description too. Just go to this website, scroll down and click on this link, the standard type for Windows. So just click it and we'll download it. Then just go ahead and open Rufus. Yes. And this is going to open this program. Make sure that you also have download Ubuntu. And then we are going to put Ubuntu inside the USB using this software. And for this you need a USB stick. So I'm going to put my USB stick now. And here I have my USB is 16 gigabytes, but even if it's 8 gigabytes, it's going to work for you. And now in Rufus, just choose your USB. Here is mine. Here, make sure to be disk or ISO image and then click on select. I'll go to desktop and I'll select my Ubuntu. For the name, I'll just leave Ubuntu and I'll just press start. Right in ISO image mode. Okay. This is a warning that all the data from the USB will be deleted, so OK. And then it's going to extract the files and put the Ubuntu inside the USB. OK, during this process, we are going to do something else that you're going to need. Open search bar and search for create partitions. And you need to open this one, create and format hard disk partitions. This is a Windows program where you can manage all your data and disks that you have already in computer. Here, I already have three disks. This is my main disk where Windows is installed. This is where I put some files that I need. And this is a disk that I, it's empty and I can use to install Ubuntu. But if you don't have a disk, this is still okay because you can install it alongside with Windows. And I will show you how to do that. So here I have all my disks. So let's assume that this is the Windows disk that you have. And you can shrink this disk into two parts where one part is for Windows and the other part is for Ubuntu. And to shrink it, just right click and click on shrink volume. And then it's going to ask you how many gigabytes or how many megabytes you want to shrink from this volume. So here I'll choose about 100 gigabytes because it's 150 gigabytes and I'll get only 100 gigabytes. And this is 100,000 megabytes. And then just click on shrink. And as you can see, we have some unallocated space where we can install Ubuntu. And I'll use this space to install Ubuntu. Okay, so from now we are okay. And then we can close this program and wait for this to be finished. Okay, now the process is finished and we just have to close this application. Then go ahead and shut down your computer. Okay, my computer is shutting down and I switched to the camera because I cannot screen record it. Okay, here I have my USB stick and make sure to plug it into your computer. Okay, now everything is okay. Okay, now go to computer and turn it on. And in a keyboard, you have to press the F10 or F2 for your computer to open the boot menu. For mine is F2, so press it multiple times. And this is going to open the boot manager. For different motherboards or different computers, it is different, but you can find it on the internet. Just search for the key buttons to open boot menu into my your computer, for example, HP, Asus, or any other computer. So here in my settings, I'll go to advanced and you have to search for boot menu options or boot boot settings. And here I have the boot option one and it is booting Windows boot manager, but I'll change it to the my USB. This is a USB Lexer jump drive and I'll just select it and option boot option two is going to be automatically switched to Windows. So the first one should always be our USB stick that, that we have installed in our, our computer exit. And then you have to click save and changes and exit. Yes. Then it is going to start automatically again and it's going to boot into our USB stick. Okay. You will see this boot menu, this is group boot menu, and you have to check with your keyboard, you have to go to try or install Ubuntu and press enter, then it will start to boot the Ubuntu installation, the setup is opening. Okay, so here now it shows to choose the language, just go with your language next. And here some access 
little settings. Next, choose your keyboard layout. For me, it's English US. And here you can connect with the internet, but for now, we'll continue without connecting. Next, make sure it's chosen install Ubuntu. And next, leave interactive installation. You can install here different apps, but for me, I'll leave a default selection. And also, I'll click next here. Okay, now it shows the first option. This is the easiest one to install Ubuntu alongside with Windows Boot Manager. So it, it automatically detects that we have already in Windows installed. So we can choose this option to install both of them alongside. You can choose this one, it's very easy. Just select it and click next and put your name and also a password, confirm and just press next. Choose your time zone, next. So this is going to show you where Ubuntu is going to be installed. It's going to automatically choose the disk that Windows is already installed. Then it's going to shrink it to put it in different parts. And in one part we'll leave the Windows and in the other part will install the Ubuntu. But for now, I'm not going to do this. And for video purposes, I'll also show you how to do this manually. So not but, but not automatically option. But this option is the easiest one and it's going to keep you both your operating systems. And now I'll show you how to manually do this because we already put a partition or clear a partition and we have some unallocated memory where we can do that. So I'll go back back. Okay, now this is the most dangerous part because we are going to install Ubuntu manually in our disk that we just erased or created the partition in the Windows. So take care here because we don't want to remove any files that we need. So choose manual installation and here it was going to list all the drives that you have in your computer. So I'm going to explain to you. So this is the first one, SDA is the drive that I told you 160 gigabytes that I have freed some space from the Windows partitioning program and I, I put about 100 gigabytes as you can see we have free space and the second one is my this drive here that I have 500 gigabytes that I told you that I put some files and the third one is the important one which is for Windows and we don't want to do anything here because as you can see it shows Windows boot manager so we don't want to touch this so what we do we go to the first one this is where I want to install and here is the free space that I did 100 gigabytes and I'm going to click this plus button so for plus I'm going to create first a swap memory which is going to be needed by Ubuntu and this is going to be 512 megabytes make sure it's 512 and make sure to choose swap because this is swap memory and click OK then we click again to the free space and we click plus and then we have to create the main source where it's going to be installed Ubuntu and for this one you have to choose uh, ext4 and for the mount point is going to be the root just a slash so make sure it is just a slash and click on OK then now you can see that is available that we can install it here so make sure to choose all of your disk and then click on next here we again we have the password that we put and the username next the time zone is automatically detected here it shows a summary where it's going to be installed so everything is good because we have an SDA not AMV where Windows is installed so it's not going to touch Windows let's click on install and then it's going to stall to copy files install the system and do everything so I'm gonna skip this process and get back to you okay now it shows that Ubuntu is successfully installed and ready to use so what you have to do is to click restart now but after the restart or after the computer is turned off you have to immediately eject or remove the USB stick from your computer so I'm going to do it now so I'll click restart and I will remove the USB stick and here it shows that you remove the installation medium and press enter. So after I've removed, just press enter here. Now it's going to boot and it will show you this menu here. So now I'm going to explain you. You have the first option is Ubuntu. So if you click enter, if you press enter, it's going to automatically boot the Ubuntu operating system. Okay, now it's turned on and shows the username. So I just press enter and put your password. Okay, so here we have Ubuntu is just successfully installed and is going to make the first setup. Click next, skip for now, next. No, I don't want to share, next, finish. Okay, so if you want to switch back to Windows operating system, what you have to do is to turn this off and then just turn off or shut down are off and then here is going to show you a group menu and then you have to be fast and you have to scroll down to the windows boot manager so here with your keys just go to windows boot manager and press enter and then it's going to directly boot into the windows operating system as you can see this is a loading bar of the windows and here you have our Windows computer. Okay, now I am on my Windows operating system. As you can see, everything works normal and I can remove this. I don't need it anymore. And now let's check the partitions from our Windows and see what happened. I will search for partition here on Windows search. 
open create and format hard disks and here as you can see this is my small hdd that i used and still i have 50 gigabytes free where i can use here on my windows computer so if i open file manager go to this pc i have still free 50 gigabytes from my disks that i have here windows is not impacted is not touched here i also have my archive where I put the files that I need. And here is my USB drive. So now I can format this USB drive because I don't need it anymore. So I can just right click format for FAT32 and start. Okay. And now I can use it for anything I want to put files and save my information. So if you look at here, we have our disk, disk zero, which is my small HDD that I have. And we have some partitions here. So these two partitions, Wi-Fi system and this healthy primary primary partition is for Ubuntu. So both of them are for Ubuntu. And this one we created for the security. All other disks are okay and usable from our computer. Okay, now, so I'm recording from Ubuntu and as you can see, it works perfect, just normally using full potential of your computer. And I wanted to recommend something. So before using Ubuntu, I wanted to say that you have to go to settings and go to system and go to software updates and check for any update. So if you have any update, make sure to do it because it is going to fix your internet connection. If you have any problem, it's going to fix the resolution, it's going to fix the speed of your Ubuntu operating system and everything else. And everything else will work perfect then. And uh, this is all I wanted to say. You can go dark mode, you can edit your settings, you can search for app, you can download from app store, app center, and then you can also use terminal just like normally you do from a normal Ubuntu Ubuntu operating system. So this was Ubuntu guys, it works perfect in your computer, this was how you can install it. Hope you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you like this type of content and see you in the next one. Peace.